So in this video, I'm going to do a beginner-friendly vintage wet set using these $10 Amazon hair rollers. My hair is freshly washed and still quite damp. For the longest durability of hair setting, you want your hair to be wet. So I have my rollers ready, my setting lotion, and a comb, and some duckbill clips. To keep it simple, that's all you need. You can begin the wet set process by creating your hair parting and use your roller as a guide to form that first section of hair. You can comb back those side sections and hold them in place with duckbill clips. For this setting pattern, we're gonna keep it simple. Starting with this first row next to your hair parting, we can form three sections and our rollers will go backwards. To the hair, I applied traveling sprays of my setting lotion, keeping the hair flat and taut like a ribbon around the roller. I love that these rollers have a foam roller on the inside and the two wire ends you easily twist together. We want to keep our hair sections as even as possible so you can add and subtract hair when needed. And try to keep the width of your sections under an inch. Too much hair on the roller will make it impossible for the hair to dry it will also add more weight and a heaviness to the curl. And not enough hair on the roller can be problematic as well, resulting in a crunchier and frizzier curl. I like to comb through each section of hair until I make it flat like a ribbon. You want the hair to be as smooth as possible when you wrap it around the roller, resulting in a perfectly defined curl. I'm rolling these bangs all the way up to the scalp and tucking in that shorter piece. You don't want any little hairs left behind. Our first row is complete. Now we're going to repeat this process next to it, creating another section that's the length of the roller that we will divide into three parts. Six rollers in total for the crown. To divide your hair sections, you can use a rat tail comb or your fingers. When I'm trying to feel for how thick the strand of hair should be, I like to use my fingers and then make adjustments with the rat tail comb. A rat tail comb is a hair comb that has a pointy end, perfect for making sections and hair partings. If you plan on styling your hair a lot in vintage styles, creating sections, hair partings, and pin curling, I highly recommend getting a hold of your own rat tail comb. I went a very long time without one, but when I finally got one, I wish I had found one sooner. For these wiry ends, I'm twisting them around each other twice and laying them flat. Now we're going to start creating our rows down the sides and dividing that first row into two. For the rest of the hair set, we're going to be rolling under. Starting with these two front rollers, next to the temple and the cheek, forming two horizontal rows that will wrap all the way around the head to the other side. You can see these rollers sit very nicely next to each other because they have a foam roller inside. And we can repeat this process on the other side. Since I don't have as much hair in the front here, I can make my sections a little bit wider. The product I'm using to set my hair is a lot of body setting lotion diluted with water. On wet hair, I tend to use a one to three ratio dilution, meaning for every one part lot of body, there are three parts water. And on dry hair, I tend to use a one to four ratio dilution to keep the hair from getting crunchy. Now I've gone back over to the other side to continue those rows that we started earlier. Add two more rollers to each side, creating two equal sections of four. For the back, I'm taking my rat tail comb and dividing what's left into two sections so we can continue those rows we started before, sectioning off the top half for later. I used my thumb and my index finger to pinch off sections of hair that are about the same length as the roller, rolling under all the way up to the scalp and securing those wire ends. I like to work side to side on those sections that I can see from the front, 
before resulting to using a mirror in the back. I find it easier to start with the sections that I can still see to form a sort of baseline guiding myself through the back of the hair. So, unfortunately, I have one section of hair left and I ran out of rollers. I had to supplement my rollers since the package only came with 20 and I needed about 24. And to secure everything in place, I'm applying my slumber net. Sleeping in a net or a scarf like this will make it much more comfortable so that your rollers don't move around in the middle of the night. A net like this works great because of all the holes. It is porous and breathable. Now we just have to let it dry. Since this was a pretty true wet set, the rollers did need ample drying time. Mine were in for about 15 hours. To reduce drying time, you can use a bonnet or a hooded hair dryer. And definitely start by testing one roller before removing them all to find out that they're still wet. I'm applying some pomade to my fingers and running it through the curls. And it's always a good idea to finger comb before you go in with your hairbrush. For the brush out, I'm using my Denman 7 Row Styling Brush, but any paddle or wet brush will do. I like to alternate between brushing and fluffing and smoothing with my comb, molding the hair and building it into the shape we want it to form. If you're looking for a great vintage hairstyling brush, I do recommend the Denman 7. It seems to not pull my hair out and glides through the hair with ease. And of course, any comb will do, but I constantly reach for my Conair teasing comb. It has a very interesting texture to the bristles. When I use the comb, I tend to only comb through the very top layer. And the amount of time it takes for your brush out will vary from person to person. The amount of curl you retain in your style is entirely up to you. For a day one style, I kind of like to embrace the curl and keep it that way. So I'm using the end of my rat tail comb to fluff up those front pieces and secure them with a hair comb. You can also use bobby pins. This will help relieve some of the weight from the front of that hair. And just a mist of hairspray. We don't want to dull the shine. And it might be a good idea to get dressed, too. As you can see, the result of the wet set and brush out has produced a very fluffy and soft 1940s style. The shape is quite halo-like, even though I don't really have a vintage haircut. I have my hair mostly one length and it's a little longer in the back and it is getting very long for doing these vintage styles, but I'm gonna keep growing it out. I do recommend this set. You just might wanna get more than the original package. But I think the package I bought came with 20 and I was just like three or four rollers short. You don't have to worry about that plastic part creating dents and I think they're much more comfortable than the other style of roller. I hope you enjoyed this vintage hair rolling tutorial and that you can apply some of these techniques to your next wet set.